Men who bring their women peace have the boredest looking wives in the world. Anytime I see a wife, I was a cocktail waitress in a strip club, and here's one of the lessons I learned about men. Men who bring their women peace have the boredest looking wives in the world. Anytime I see a wife outside in the club, in a bar, and they look almost bored, like almost like they just don't have anything to engage with anymore. They're just vibing, just enjoying their life. They've maxed out on peace so much. It looks like boredom. I know they have a good man. I would see a girl come in the club and just be- Is she saying men shouldn't have peaceful relationships? Is that the argument here? Is that is that is that what the argument is? Men shouldn't have women that bring peace to them? so calm dressed down sometimes or dressed up but there was a vibe to her where she was just confident glowing happy completely at rest the man's demeanor was always very serving towards her it would always be the man that would call me and say hey will you get my wife another cocktail and the guy would be the type of guy that like would drink a beer or have one cocktail and then drink water and then literally sit there and babysit his girlfriend all through the night or his wife all through the night a lot of times these women would get absolutely shit faced and their man would be the man standing outside of the bathroom with worry on his face just waiting for her looking for her taking care of her ordering her food making sure she gets blacked out and has the time guys i'm gonna say um a controversial take here guys guys do not date women that are alcoholic that drink heavy or even drink at all i'm, I'm just gonna say i don't believe women you should date women women that drink have habits Women that smoke have habits. There's a thing called modest women. Stay, oh, me personally, I would say I would date women that don't drink or smoke or do all them things. People be like, oh, where are you going to find that at? There's a lot of women that do that. A lot of women, we just, just like I said, women can't find the good man because they don't want the good man. If you're not looking for the right woman, you will find the wrong woman. I repeat, guys, if you're not looking for the right woman, you will find the messed up woman, like the wrong woman. So if you, if you are here searching, you're not looking for the right woman, you'll find the wrong woman. The women that's, that drinks. I'm not a fan of my woman drinking anything. That's just me. I know that's... Y'all be like, oh my God, but that's just me. I I'm, I deal with women that don't drink at all. I, I've been with one girl that got completely wasted. You have to understand, she's right when they said the babysitting part. You have to babysit that person. We already know women make bad decisions when they're sober. We already know women make bad decisions when they're sober. So when you got to stand when she's intoxicated, it leads to better decisions, guys. These women that drink and you watch a woman say things she shouldn't say, act ways she shouldn't act, do things that she shouldn't do, all because of this element of alcohol. You deal with a woman that, you know, do weed and stuff like that, smoke and stuff. She act and do things that she normally wouldn't do sometime. And you'd be like, you know, sometimes she act out of character when she's under this substance. I don't think you should be around women like that at all. And never bring positive to your relationship. Those things are a headache. Dumb women are a headache. Dumb women that deal with substance are a headache. You do not have to babysit your wife. She's not a child. If your woman get intoxicated and you have to try to find her and you got to watch her throw up, none of that is good for the body. Throwing up is not good for the throat, the body, or nothing like that. And if you got to watch your girl wobbling, stumbling, or doing weird things because she's intoxicated, guys, do not deal with women like that. We, The whole point of this podcast is to make guys be aware of certain characters of women. This podcast is not really for women. I'm going to say honestly, it's not really for women at all. It's for guys. I want you to understand habits and characteristics of women. That because you are potentially looking for a woman that you want to be with. And you got to understand if you do have a woman, you got to understand that do you have a good woman? Because these things matter. Me personally, I seen too many guys with women that get drunk or they drink with their husband that they act out of character. Even men, I would say, don't even be a drinker like that because the things that we do under the influence is not what we would do if we were sober. So you want to put yourself in a mindset when you're always aware because you don't want to be in a position when you wake up and you're conscious and you're like, damn, I messed up. I made mistakes. You want to make mistakes while you're conscious and be like, OK, I can live with this mistake compared to you don't even know that what happened was under substance a lot of women already make bad decisions while they're sober you don't want it to be even worse when they're under substance because then they have excuses on why you can't get me away from this you met me like this so accept me like this do not deal with women that are under substance any of them is nothing positive about it you will have a better life away from women like that
a lot of women pick up bad characteristics and bad habits from their prior relationships smoking drinking weird habits of being masculine or dominant and stuff like that because of the last men certain women are not meant for relationship alcohol no smoking no do not accept it guys it's your choice you are the leader you're the man you hold the key to a relationship don't do it guys don't babysit your girl your girl is your follower you are the leader she shall follow your standards you don't follow her standards because you offer the relationship again guys that's just my take i know y'all may you know some of y'all deal with other type of women i'm not going to judge y'all for that's your personal beliefs but i just say you have a higher capacity of a better relationship stand away from girls with piercings tattoos drinking habits and smoking habits just better i, I would say there's percentage of a better relationship is a little bit higher compared to women that do have them problems because some of them girls that get into drinking smoking is because of something trauma traumatic that happened prior in their lives women that get into bad habits is because a traumatic situation forced them to change and you don't want to deal with that woman with that baggage even if she never tell you the baggage you gotta understand some of the things they do is because of stuff that happened to them so no don't do it guys i'm not i'm never gonna send you out to the wrong location to try to find women you find the right woman be happy with that woman but do, i'm never gonna send you out to the wrong woman but that's not for me time of her life it changed what i expect out of men because ugh, like just a man who fosters his woman's happiness and fun they also seem to be like the most happy men in their relationships as opposed to the men who come into the club get blacked out themselves don't care where their girlfriends are don't care how their girlfriend's doing don't care if their girlfriend's crying or broke a glass or is getting pulled at 50 different directions attentive men are literally the best types of men i was a and guys last little quote um don't really try to foster a woman happiness be you be authentic focus on your goals and the woman shall find happiness within your realm a woman will find happiness within your realm. if you focus on trying to make the woman happy you're always gonna fail if you focus on trying to make the woman happy, it's the hardest thing to do. As you grow up as a child, you kind of at one point start liking girls. And when you start liking girls, you start trying to do all these little things, get for a pencil, buy her ice cream, get for your only dollar at school. And you realize that everything you could have done never got this woman attention because this woman gets attention from multiple guys like you. And you're on the bottom of the food chain. When you get older, you see that thing probably, you know, it gets way bigger when you take this girl on a nice date. And you think, I probably did a good thing for this woman that I could possibly police myself with. She happened to say there's five other guys that I have a higher chance to, to get in with than you. So if you always aim to impress a woman, you will always fail. That's I would say that's probably 95% chance that's going to happen every time you aim to impress a woman. Sadly, that's reality for us men. Even the richest men in the world, they can do that and the woman will still be unimpressed to other characteristics. When women date, they try to find reasons why we shouldn't qualify when we men date women, we try to find reasons why they should qualify. I repeat, when we date women, we find reasons why she should be qualified to be my girl. When she dates you, she try to find qualifiers why she shouldn't be with you. She's saying that these are, um, I disqualify him for this. I disqualify him from this. I disqualify him from this. She try to find things that will make her not be with you. You try to find things that will make her be with you. That's the difference between us and them women create standards for kicking out guys we create standards for putting in people because when you i would say this this is my my, my saying when i get in a relationship with a girl i can have three standards she meet them three standards that's what we're going to be with if you are a man and you get in a relationship with that woman she have five standards anytime you make her mad or she feels some type of way she add another standard she add another standard she she's making new standards so she can disqualify you and give herself a reason to leave the relationship women do not lower their standards unless she's with a bad boy when she meets a bad boy she has no standards she meet the good man she create more standards that's the worst thing about it. it's so backwards with women it's so backwards with women when women meet bad boys they delete all the standards when they meet good guys they make up all these standards because they want to go back to the guy they're not supposed to be with but again guys pursuing happiness or trying to aim to make a woman happy is always going to fail she shall find happiness within that realm of relationship. Focus on your goals, focus on your purpose, and she's going to be happy within that. She will be happy within that. But if you try to work to make a woman happy, it's going to be an endless, endless abyss of unhappiness because she's always going to try to find reasons why she shouldn't be with you. And then again, women leave us all the time. 
Think about your whole life. Women left all the time. All the time. Nonsense reason. And then they'd be like, oh, I can't find a man. Women do it all the time. All the time. So why are you pursuing happiness with this woman? You should focus on yourself and she supposed to find happiness within your life. You are the leader. If you try to do the opposite, it's not going to work, guys. I'm, that's just all I see all the time. And I just want to tell y'all that, guys. Whew. It would feel like it was a long show. I feel like it was a long show. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. That was like, like I'm subscribe, like I'm subscribed. I think we're tuning in. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I plan on making a separate video 